Oh, <clears throat> hello, people of Earth. Welcome to this Switch Off Fortnite Earth News Special. Switch Off Fortnite is when humans will learn about energy and think about what they can do to use it more wisely. Like switching off their lights and appliances when they don't need them. Thousands of schools and millions of children across the UK take part in Switch Off Fortnite each year, so we thought it was time that Pong and I joined in too. <coughs> to find out more about the campaign and why it's important to the planet, the Earth News team, well, that's me and Lieutenant Pong here, <laughs> we carried out an investigation into energy, how humans use it and how humans waste it, as we didn't know very much at all. OK, well, you might have done. I forgot you did an energy astrophysics degree in space camp. So you might see what difference it'll make if you join in by switching on to switching off and start using your energy wisely too. Poogle, will you upload our energy knowledge data file with all the interesting facts we learnt from the pod, please? Earth Energy Data Loading We have discovered that humans need energy to provide heat and electricity and to power vehicles. Their modern way of life depends on it. Worldwide, about 80% of energy used for heat, electricity and transport comes from burning fossil fuels, like coal, oil and gas, in large power stations. All the large power stations are connected to a network called the National Grid that brings the electricity from the power station, which may be hundreds of miles away, to where humans need it in their homes, schools, factories and buildings through electricity cables. Fossil fuels have been produced over millions of years. They are the ancient remains of dead plants and animals that were buried beneath the Earth's surface, then heated, squashed and squeezed into the energy-rich substances coal, oil and gas. Ugh, I've only just eaten my breakfast. Oh, Poogle, Pong knows about fossil fuels. He says when humans burn fossil fuels to make the gas and electricity they need, it releases billions of tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is sometimes called CO2 and it's a gas. Pong says CO2 or carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Anyway, apparently know it all smarty pants. Pong says these gases then start heating up the earth as they trap more of the planet's heat. And this is called the greenhouse effect. The Earth receives heat from the Sun. About half of the Sun's energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface, while around 20% of the energy is absorbed by the atmosphere and 30% is reflected by clouds and the Earth's surface back into space. As the Earth's surface warms, energy is emitted back into the atmosphere in a similar way that the hob of an electric cooker radiates heat. But if that's all that happened, the Earth's surface would be frozen with an average temperature of around minus 18 degrees centigrade, too cold to support life. Instead, greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere absorb some of the outgoing energy and return part of it to the Earth's surface. These gases are only a small proportion of the atmosphere, but they act like a blanket by trapping some of the heat. The greater the amount of greenhouse gases, the more effectively they can trap heat near the Earth's surface. So any changes in the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will affect the Earth's temperature. Human activities like burning coal, oil and gas, deforestation and some agricultural or farming practices have released huge quantities of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This increase in greenhouse gases is leading to changes in weather and climate. Scientists have observed Earth's temperature, rainfall, humidity, Arctic sea ice, 
glaciers and sea level over the last century and their findings demonstrate a warming planet. So Earth is getting warmer. This is sometimes called the enhanced greenhouse effect or global warming. Scientific evidence suggests this is mainly due to human activities, particularly from the burning of fossil fuels. But right now, the world relies on fossil fuels for most of the energy it needs. Not only that, but the amount of energy humans use is growing as more and more things are invented and as the number of humans on the planet is increasing. So why does this matter? Well, to put it simply, the more energy humans use, the more energy has to be supplied. Gases created from burning fossil fuels are contributing to climate change and, one day, fossil fuels will run out. <gasps> that doesn't sound good. This is why humans need to think about how they can generate more of the energy they need from something other than fossil fuels and in a way that can result in far lower carbon emissions. Nuclear power is an example of low carbon power source. There is also renewable energy sources. Renewable means things that won't run out, such as water from hydropower plants, wind from wind turbines, sunlight from solar panels, and others. But Pogel, these are such big issues that need such big changes. How can just one person make any difference? There are lots of things individual humans can do to reduce the amount of energy they use and to cut down on the amount of energy they waste that will make a difference. They can switch off electrical equipment when they're not using it, turn the heating down in their houses, take showers instead of baths so they don't need to heat as much water, insulate their homes so heat doesn't disappear out of roofs, windows and doors, and much, much more. All these actions, as well as things like reducing, reusing and recycling and taking public transport instead of using cars as often, reduce a human's carbon footprint. <coughs> a carbon footprint is the amount of carbon dioxide created as a result of what a person does or how they live pong. So, for example, someone who uses more electricity or travels by car more often will have a bigger carbon footprint than someone who uses less electricity or travels more by bike or on foot than they do by car. Yes, all right, Pong, so you were right. And I was wrong. There isn't a giant carbon creature that's leaving massive footprints everywhere. <clears throat> so, Poogle... Can just one person doing these things really make a difference? Yes. When thousands of humans all do something small, even just remembering to switch off a light every day, it can make a big difference to the waste they make and carbon they use. So, does everybody do these things all the time to make their carbon foot smaller? You mean to reduce their carbon footprint? Uh, yes, 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 that's what I mean. No, the biggest problem is a lot of humans don't know they should do these things. They forget to do them, and they just don't think it will make a difference. So they don't bother. Even though saving energy can save them a lot of Earth money too. But that doesn't make sense, so we need to tell them why they should do it and remind them. That would be a start. <laughs>